So ladies and gentlemen, my name is Destiny and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys how to work with user authentication here in Django. So if you've been following along with the other tutorials on the Instagram clone, you would know that by now that we've completed almost all the functionality of the Instagram clone. You can post, you can like other posts, you can save as favorites, you can follow and unfollow people, you can just do a whole lot of things. And in this video, I want to go ahead and work with authentication because that's what our Instagram clone is still missing. So without wasting any more time, let's just go ahead and get started. If you are enjoying this video and digging it, make sure to drop a like and consider subscribing. Also, if you are encountering an issue, drop a comment in the comment section below. I'll be there to help you out. So without any further ado, let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing you want to do is um, open up your code. And if you've been following along from my other tutorials, not the Instagram clone, let's say from the Stack Overflow, from the Netflix clone, from the blog series, you would notice that I already have a lot of videos showing how to um, work with user authentication. So I don't want to go ahead and start doing this from scratch here because I have a lot of videos that in-depthly show how to do that using class-based view, function-based view, and a whole lot of ways. So in this video, I'm simply go going to go ahead and inherit from one of my other projects and we're just going to plug it into this project. So this, this video is not going to take time. It's not going to take any of your time. All I'm going to do is just um, pick up a code from the other projects that we've done and place it in here and explain a bit of it. Okay, so let's just go ahead and get started. Now, I've got this project opened up over here and I'm simply going to open up the user odds and in the model, in the model, um, what we've got over here is, okay, rather, instead of going to the model, um, I want to simply come over to the views.py. So in the views.py, you can see we've got this view over, over here that's a register view. So I'm simply going to copy this view. I'm going to copy this view and I'm going to open up my my code over here. This is Otte. I'm going to open up the views.py and I'm simply going to put the code down here just like that. Okay, so I'm gonna put this code down here. It's gonna be the fine register. Don't worry, I'm still explain what all this code does and all that. So after putting this down here, the next thing I might need is a form. So let me open this up, and I'm gonna open up user auth, and I'm gonna come over to forms.py. So as you can see, we've got user register form over here. I'm simply gonna grab this user register form because that's one of the forms that I will be using. And take note when you grab in this form, you wanna make sure that you import the user creation form. So before doing before pasting this in I'm gonna make sure I import this or rather we can even paste it then import it so after that so I'm gonna come over here and simply paste this down here and I'm gonna get back to my forms.py over here and I'm gonna copy this and you don't have to do all this copy and paste because um, you have the full source code already waiting for you and if for any reason you don't understand what all this code are doing it's totally understandable all you need to do is pick out one of my video on my channel there's a whole lot of videos showing how to do this exact same thing that I did so don't get yourself confused I don't want to do it from scratch again because I have a whole lot of videos showing how to do it. Okay, so after this, we've got this form. It's called user register form, as you can see. And this one is going to take in the username, the email, the password one, and the password two. And all this is coming in from the user creation form that Django has given us already. So after this, now you can see that we inherit it from user. So we want to make sure that we import user. So we're going to say from Django.country dot odds dot models we want to import user okay so after this i think that's pretty much what we want to do let's go ahead and open up our views.py and run through some things over here and i want to actually even go ahead and explain what's going on so you understand now this is what we're doing we defined a, a new a new function and we call it register and we're checking if the method that's used on the form is post so if the method that's used on the form is post we want to go ahead and instantiate the form that we created from the forms.py if you remember this is it over here i called it user register form so we want to instantiate it and want to grab all the the files that the user puts into the form which is the username the email the the password and the confirm password so after we do that we want to then go ahead and check if the form is valid so if everything all the validations are actually okay then we want to go ahead and create a new a new variable and we're going to set it to form.save but this time we won't be committing you can put this as commit equal to false for now then after this the next thing we did was grab our username so that we can do some like maybe maybe give like uh, an alert season like um um some like your account was created successfully, yeah, something like that. And one of the reasons why I also grabbed this was so I can use it to automatically log the user in. So you see over here, I use this to do this over here to actually um, give an alert message. You can say something like, 
hooray your account um let's just say hooray um then you can call the username something like that username you understand then it's gonna say hooray destiny your account was created something like that okay then after this the next thing we're gonna do is automatically log the user in so this code here is automatically gonna log in the user okay so when you when a user creates an account they don't have to go ahead and log in again it's automatically going to log them in so we simply um, defined a variable new user and we send this we set it to an authenticate method which we imported over here no we haven't imported it yet so i'm going to go ahead and import it right now so we've got authenticate we've got login i'm, I'm, gonna, I'm just going to import this and this i'm going to copy it and i'm going to come back back here and I'm gonna, I'm gonna just paste it down here like this okay so after that let me explain what's going on we set new user to the authenticate method and we are passing in username so username what we do is simply get in the username that, you, that the user passed into the form and we also got the first password that the user passed into the form and we used it to log them in okay so when we log them in we're simply redirecting them to somewhere and in my case i'm gonna redirect them to let's say i want to redirect them to the home page something like that okay then after that we checked if the user is not authenticated like if the user is not like logged in where do we want to send them to let's send them to the login page okay or no, no no rather this is checking if user is authenticated so if user is authenticated and authenticated and they are trying to they are trying to access the register page again we want to simply send them back to the home page so that's what the code over there does i'm going to open this up so i'll just simply copy my index.html and i'm going to come over here and paste this here and paste this here so this one over here is simply saying this after a user creates an account log them in automatically and send them to the home page okay then this one over here is saying if a user is already authenticated which means a user is already logged in what we want to do is send them to the to the home page whenever they try to access the register page while being logged in okay then if all these conditions are not met we are simply gonna render the register form again then i pass this into a context and pass it into my render so i can access it in my template okay so that's pretty much it for the register view hopefully you guys understood the little explanation if you don't there's a whole lot of videos showing how to do this just pick up one of them and boom you're on your way to getting this work then after this um we need some urls so we need a url and let's see so to get a url i'm simply gonna head back to the urls over here and this is for the authentication so i'm simply gonna copy all these urls over here don't get freaked out it's very very self-explanatory when i explain to you guys you're simply gonna understand what's going on so this one over here is um for the profile section okay and let's make sure the comment is indented then this one is for the user authentication so what we're simply doing is creating, creating a sign up button passing it to the register view that we created over here this is it and we gave it a name sign up now for users to sign in we don't have to manually create a view for it django already has a built-in functionality to do that all we need to do is inherit from a generic view which is called login view okay so what we simply need to do is import it over here from jago.contrib.auth import views as as this over here as odds views so what we now did over here is say odds views login view that's as view that will pass in a template name so it should go to um i think let's look for a template where it should go to um over here we've got the rights we've got notification um I'm, I'm simply gonna create a new template here and let's call it I'm gonna save this and we're gonna call it um register. Let's say register.html or you can call it sign up, whatever. Let's call it sign up.html. Okay, so this is it sign up the html and over here in the in the Instagram clone that's it sign up. Now over here in the views, this is it sign up the html. So that's why we created that. Now alongside the sign up, we also need to create sign in and sign out the html. So we're gonna say sign in sign in dot html and alongside that we also need to create a sign out dot html okay sign out the html and we move down the three codes now don't worry when we go ahead and run this you see how it's working it's working perfectly well so when we've done this now let's check out the urls everything is looking pretty good now this line over here is simply gonna take where we want the sign in page to be you can leave this blank it's gonna automatically use django's built-in sign in page then this is checking if 
a, a user is authenticated do we want to redirect them yes we want to redirect them so we don't want an authenticated user to also come to the login page no that's going to be weird so when a user is logged in and they are trying to access the login page again we want to send them to the home page or to somewhere else so that's why we're saying redirect authenticated user and we pass it in as true okay then over here we're simply defining a sign out url and we also inherited from django logouts view it's it's an inbuilt view we don't have to write a code just as we wrote for register and we'll pass in a template name it's sign out html and the url pattern name is sign out so after this i think that's pretty much what we need to do let's see if our server is still running if it is then that's pretty awesome we want to go ahead and access the login page but before that i want to see what i'm using in my in my igprj urls okay i'm using users for it so what i simply need to do is come over to slash users slash sign in let's see okay so this is working perfectly well as you can see i was already logged in so i was trying to access the sign-in page and what do you notice it redirected me back to the home page so that's exactly what we want how about we want to go to users slash sign out so users slash sign out okay as you can see it's working perfectly well but it says there is no template user auth sign out the html and that's because in our urls the py we've got this user auth stage from the other project so i'm simply gonna get rid of it now how about we try refreshing this again what do you notice a blank page but right now if we want to try access the home page again what do you notice we've been logged out so as you can see we can we can access the home page again we will be asked to log in let me hold over to the admin so you'd see you see we logged out now this is simply um a functionality where django is looking for a place to do redirect users that are not logged in okay but before we work with that i want to firstly work with the sign out page over here so for the sign out page um i'm simply gonna copy my template i told you guys that we already have the templates built out for this video so we don't need to manually go do all that ourselves so i've got us login.html let me show you guys how it's looking so this is how it's looking just, just like instagrams so i'm i'm gonna copy the login.html i'm gonna open this up i'm gonna copy it and i'm simply gonna put it in the in the sign out.html over here so when I refresh this page, we're going to see some things, but a CSS in loading right. So I need to come over here and make the CSS load right. So I'm simply going to wrap this up in a template tag, open this, and I'm going to call static, should go to assets, slash that, and I'm going to end it up over here and also add that. So right now, when we refresh, you see it's working fine, but we also need to load tag and do some other basic things for it to work, start working perfectly well. So, for example, we need to come over here and we need to say load static. So we need to say load static just like this. And what do you notice? It's working perfectly fine. Now, what we need to do is say something like, hey, you just logged out or something like that. But before that, I want to make sure that the page is looking good, like configure my logo and some other basic things like the app store and the yeah, all that. So for now, let's just say one, okay, we can just leave this like that and do it in the other videos, but I'm going to configure this one. It's called static and I'm going to end it off over here with something like this. And as you can see, this is how it's looking. So I actually want to tell a user that they are logged in. Okay. There is no need for doubt. When a user signs out, they automatically get to this page. So let me show you guys that. Now I'm going to come over here. I'm going to try accessing this page and it's going to let me just get back to my home page again. I'm going to get back here. Well, let's see. No, a user is signed out now. I'm going to sign in a user and I'm going to try accessing the home page. So as you can see, this is working perfectly well. How about I come over to slash users slash sign out. What do you notice? It signs out the user, but it says page not found. I think that's called users instead. Okay. Now, as you can see, it signs out to user and it brings the user into this place. How about we want to go to sign in? You see we don't have anything there that means we need to copy this same code and we need to put it in the sign in and refresh this it's working perfectly well how about i want to go to the sign up it says user register form isn't defined so in our views.py we need to import it so we need to say from dot forms let's see if we've got dot forms already so i'm gonna say dot form okay that's it i want to import come over here we need to import this over here so i'm gonna paste it and if you're asking where is this coming from it's coming from the forms.py over here 
I think let's look for it somewhere. This is post, so I'm gonna collapse this. I'm gonna collapse this and I'm gonna collapse this also. So as you can see, it's coming from here. So that's it. Now, I think that's pretty much what I wanna do. Let's refresh this page again and see. As you can see, it says template isn't found and that's because over here, we have a user odds. So we need to get rid of this. <laughs> come back here and we need to get rid of this okay now when we refresh everything is going to work perfectly well so let's give it a sec okay i think we have an error or something from dot forms okay um i think we are missing um just one thing let's see over here we need to import user register form just like that now let's refresh again make sure our server is ready before refreshing i hope there is nothing okay now when we refresh what do you notice it's working perfectly well so we need to also put in the sign in um template in the sign up because it's exactly gonna be the same thing now when we put this up we can now go ahead and start configuring all this so it looks perfectly fine now for the sign up um what we can do is simply um let's look for the for the inputs so this is an input, this is an input. When we comment this out, you can see the inputs are gone. So what we simply want to do is comment this out and we are simply going to open up a form tag just like this. And what do you notice? We have the, the, the username, the email, the enter password and the confirm password. So that's what we want. But we don't want all those ones over here that says username, email, this and this. So in order to get rid of that, we need to manually call user.username okay now what do you notice we've just got only the username and we don't have that so that's how we are only gonna do all we're gonna put in email and we're gonna put in password one as you can see and we need to put in password two okay and for the button the type is supposed to be submit and I think that should be it when we need to get rid of this link over here let's just get rid of this link for now and i'm gonna get rid of this one too so that's how it looking let, let me try fill in this form and hit login so there is still um i think an error that's making it not work for now and that's because right now in the in the form this is the form this is the closing form we don't have a method yet so we need to create a method post and i told you guys already when using django and you're using a post method you need to call the csrf underscore token to prevent cross site forgery and after doing this i'm gonna get rid of this url refresh this again fill up my form and hit login now what do you notice i think it's trying to log a user in but it says an anonymous object has no attributes meta so we need to manually go fix this error and this is where we are getting this error from okay so from here now i need to go ahead and fix this actually as you guys can see it's creating the account for us so as you can see it said hooray your account was created successfully something like that but um let's head over to the users and as you can see it created an account for us but it's not logging us in so that's what we need to actually go ahead and fix now okay so i'm gonna get back here see i'm logged in right now um i can simply go ahead and log out and let's get back to the sign up page so from here this is where we are having an error that says this okay guys um this is the first thing i want us to do over here now i'm gonna get back here and try signing up again we gotta get this error and let's for now let's just comment out this code that's automatically gonna help users log in we're still gonna come back there but i want to show you guys something so when we comment that code out and we're trying to create a new account guess what it's gonna work as you can see it's working but it doesn't know where to redirect a user so back to the igprj settings.py we need to come over here and configure just one code and this is it login login redirect url this should go to index okay i think this is supposed to be working i don't know why it's still working okay let's say login url this should go to index let's see okay i'm gonna get back i'm gonna try signing up a new user again and what's the error this time around i'm gonna get back and i'm gonna try signing the user okay it's it's actually not getting a, a right place to go this is where the logout is going this this is where the login is going let's see if everything is looking fine over here 
so logout redirects url should go to the login login redirects url should go to the index i hope that's what i called it in the urls.py just hold on a sec let me check and i've got a lot of tabs here i'm going to close out some of it i'm going to open this up and i'm going to open this up also so in in my post urls.py what i called it was index okay so over here we need to say um um let's see so it should be here this is supposed to be index um i don't know why it's, it's not working okay let's go ahead and try this out again let's see if it works this time around i'm gonna refresh put in a code and run this okay what do you notice i think it's working so it says reverse for login not found login is a valid function name and all that blah 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 so we need to change this over here we need to change this to index okay come back again and let's hit sign up let's try signing up a user okay why is it showing up the error again let's try signing up a user one more okay i think the the error is because in the otzi we called the sign in over here this and we call the sign out sign out so that's the error we need to put in sign in and we need to put in sign in over here so how about we try this one more time and let's see if we got any error definitely we're gonna go ahead and fix it now i think it's just created an account for us as you can see it's been created an account let's log in and see if we have a new user and i don't think we have a new user yet let's let's check out the the profiles we don't have a new user yet of course it's obvious now let's see let's see over here it's created an account for us and it brought us to the sign in page as you can see this is working well okay but now there is nothing over here that we can put so let's go ahead and change out the sign in page what do you guys notice now we create an account it brings us to the sign in page okay now it wants us to log in but don't worry we are automatically still going to work with the functionality to log in automatically later in this video so i'm um, gonna i'm gonna come back here and what i want to do is simply fix my sign in page so i'm gonna come over to um, the template i'm gonna open up what is it called um I'm, I'm gonna open up the the sign in this is the sign in over here this is the inputs that we've got i'm gonna get rid of this and it signed us in okay now this is not what i want to do it's because i signed in already from here i'm gonna log in i'm gonna log out and it brings us to the sign in page again now we don't have any inputs how about we just manually call the form now, what do you notice? It gives the username and the password. So this time around, we can try signing in, but nothing is working. That's because in the form, we need a method of post and we need the Django CSRF token, just like this. And let's try doing this one more time. Okay, um, it says invalid block. That means, oh, let's see. Okay, this is supposed to be token. This over here is supposed to be token and now let's refresh again and let's try login in this time around okay as you can see it's trying to log in but in the link there is this a tag i'm gonna get rid of it it's obstructing the button from being clicked directly so we get rid of that and let's try this one more time okay i'm gonna wait wait what's this over here what's this i think i messed up with a code or something yeah i think i messed up with a code or some then okay this is it i'm gonna get rid of this yeah and i'm also gonna get rid of this yeah that's working fine now i'm gonna try logging in again and what do you notice it's working perfectly well so as you can see we sign out and we sign in again and i think there is there should be a button over here that's gonna say something like sign out so let me just head over to my index.html real quick and i'm gonna look for a place to add it to add a, a sign out button or let's say it should be in our profile yeah something like this so i'm gonna head over to our profile and i'm gonna look for um i'm gonna say edit profile so this edit profile just very very close to edit profile i'm gonna also put some like this and you see now we'll get two of this so one of it is supposed to say log out then for the class everything should still be the same i'm gonna get rid of the wardrobe so i see everything on one line 
okay so this is one line this is another one now this one should go to sign out as easy as that so now when I refresh this page again and I hit the logout what do you notice it locks me out now when I log in it locks me in and this is where I am so I'm gonna log out and I'm gonna try creating a new user and login in with the username and password that I just created so for now we need to fix the sign up so we don't have to manually go to the URL so I'm gonna head back to the sign in page and I'm gonna look for the for the sign up button this is it over here I'm simply gonna get rid of this open up templates tags and I'm gonna say URL should go to sign up just like that okay and I'm gonna refresh this page to walk in. Click on this, it takes us to the sign up page. I'm gonna sign up a new user. This is their username. I'm gonna log in. Okay, I'm gonna paste the username and I'm gonna try logging the user in. Okay, what do you notice? It says, please enter a correct username and password. Note that both field may be case sensitive. So as you can see, it's obvious that it's not creating a user for us. So that's what we need to fix right now. I'm gonna save this, it's not creating the user for us. Now let's come over to the to the views.py. Okay, I need to come over to the to the otviews.py. This is it over here. otviews.py. I'm gonna get rid of commit equal to false over there, and I'm gonna uncomment this. So when I'm when I've done these two things, I simply want to get back to the sign up page, and I think there should be an error. It says automatically. Okay, okay. I think I commented this out too, so I'm gonna fix that real quick, and let's try loading this page again what i'm going to do on this page is create a new user and i'm going to hit login now let's hold on and see what do you notice it automatically logs the user in so our functionality is working perfectly well but right now a user doesn't have a profile so that's the bad side of it we we need to automatically create a profile for a user when they log in that's one functionality that we really need and we're going to be doing that in the next video for now we have achieved the user authentication method we can log in log out and sign up a new user so i hope you guys enjoyed this video and learn something new in the next video we're going to go ahead and work with this error that we're getting over here that's automatically going to create a new profile for a user when they log in i hope i'll see you guys in the next video for now make sure you drop a like on this video consider subscribing and also if you have an error drop it in the comment section i'll be there to help you out i'll see you guys in the next video my love peace out